What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the new Mirage. This is of course Rain Day on Rain Day Gaming and hey if you guys are watching and you hype about the gameplay, if you're hype about this new change from Mirage, leave a like on the video. It helps a lot and you guys have been killing it with some likes lately so please support the video and the content and let me know what you think about this because today you are going to see everything you need to see to explain how this new Mirage is going to impact your gameplay and why this makes Mirage I think the highest skill cap, one of the highest skill cap legends in Apex Legends. The things you can do now in Season 5 after these huge buffs have really allowed him to be not only a better teammate for your teams in high level situations, in, in clutch situations from emergency revives to uh, incredible bamboozles and, and tactics to throw teammates off. But it's given Mirage players a sense, I think, of competitiveness to finally feel like they are actually uh, not a dead weight to a squad that has always kind of considered them to be dead weight, a joke of the party. No longer the joke right here. Mirage is the real deal, and I'm going to show you this in this gameplay, in this conversation here as well as we get into the changes. Because the changes, they are huge. And if you're just catching up with us, let's walk you through what those changes are, and I'll show you how they impact Mirage and the way that he's playing. You saw some of my decoys. Well, that is one of the first things that has been changed with Mirage in Season 5. His tactical is called Psych Out, which it always has been. But pressing the character utility action will allow Mirage to gain control of his decoy, which never used to be possible. You would throw them out in a line. You would have no sense of control except the direction or the initial movement you were doing, whether you're crouch walking or you're just standing still or you're running. He would just copy that and go, and it became obvious. Like, that's a robotic move. Now, when you press H, at least on PC, you will be able to control your decoy and it will mimic every single move you make, making it feel much more lifelike. So you could aim down sights, you could crouch, you could slide hop, you could do all these things that make someone feel like, wow, that, that's a real person, let me shoot them, as you guys can see in a second with all of the action about to happen here as we do start getting into it. You see the decoy gets busted, we'll talk about how that, as well as always, a big point of Mirage, a big piece of utility most people do not consider as we run with the Havoc. And and of course, the Mozambique camera points right there, just doing the job. Most people underestimating this weapon big time. No buff, because no buff needed in Season 5. This weapon has been insanely good. A ton of action about to happen, so let's keep talking about this ability as you'll see it flow and move very quickly. That's the ultimate, which now operates a lot differently as well. And I'll talk about that once we finish the psych out and uh, continue watching this fight. Uh, the, the big thing about decoys as well is uh, you see a little more Mozambique action there. No finisher necessary as well is that it lasts for 60 seconds these decoys used to last a lot less and what it would mean is it limits the amount of time you're able to um, set up your bamboozle maybe somebody was 15 seconds away but you use your decoy it, it destroyed and now that whole setup you had has to be wait you know you have to wait till the cooldown is back now because it's 60 seconds that decoy will stay there and especially if you're controlling it throughout a fight there's pretty much two of you exact same movements exact same maneuvers you see in the bottom corner right there that dude is aiming down sights if someone's on the top of a roof i'm behind here i'm crouch walking as my decoy they may think man that's him let me shoot that guy right there especially if they're just head peeking trying to find a kill so really really good and you notice just now in this fight how long it is lasting guys it's still there it's still lasting it's still sneaking around and uh this is going to play huge dividends throughout the totality of this fight as you all will see very very shortly um another decoy is obviously going to uh stop this decoy you can't have more than two at a time but it will basically allow you to uh kind of reset the position reset the timing one of the things about these decoys is Yes, you can kind of get them into doing awkward things. Um, they follow your initial position and will kind of mimic from there. But if you end up turning around, left, right, and then they get stuck, they may just be walking into a wall. You can release the decoy by pressing the H control button again, again on PC. I'm not sure what it is on, on the sticks. But then you can basically go into a different direction, align back up with that decoy, and again, hit control and start doing it. The easiest way probably is to let go of that decoy, press Q, or, or do it again, and then obviously 
have control of it there. But you'll see, I'm creating these avenues, these points. If they shot my decoy right there because of the realistic nature of me pushing him after he was shooting us. That sets us up, and you can see Pretty Venom getting into the thick of things as well. Hirakazi, he takes a lot of damage, but I'm there with the Mozambique trying to set things up. The Thermite goes down, and the Gibraltar's on the ground. But guess what? We're going to cloak up. Hit that Octane Jump Pad. Thanks, buddy, for leaving those. Those are fun. And you see my decoys running on the right-hand side as well. Two down, still one more to find as our teammate is finishing the other one, and that brings their teammate around as well. But the shield is cracked with a Mozambique. It's a real wolf. Tastes a little bit of that surreal afterlife as we send him and his team out of the lobby. Now, the ultimate, you've been seeing that quite a bit as well, and that is called Life of the Party. Now, the ultimate is a big change, and Mirage's ultimate used to basically cloak him, and he would run around and just be cloaked, and that invisibility was a, a gift and a curse, because you could not do any action while you were cloaked, so all the time you were moving quicker, you were you were cloaked, uh, you, you couldn't really do anything, and so yes, you could get set up, you could, you could surprise people, you could show up in a good spot in the fight, but at the end of the day, you weren't able to be effective for your teammates, there again, another decoy pop, because I was shooting, I was firing, I was realistic, I looked like an easy target, and yet again, Bamboozle. You'll notice the bamboozle impact, the effect, the, the, the ratio of bamboozling people. High, high, high with this new Mirage because of how realistic these decoys behave. Um, the, other, the other concept, I think, just looking at life of the party now, is that instead of having that cloak, your cloak lasts a lot less longer. So you're going to only have two seconds of cloak. You're going to deploy a team of decoys, not just one decoy you're going to deploy a team of decoys that mimic your every move instead of just spreading out around you while you cloak and go invisible they will mimic your moves they will stay around it will almost be like that life uh that dance party at mirage voyage for the big dummies day um the cooldown is 60 seconds and one of the big things about this one is i believe the cooldown got significantly changed i actually want to look up gamepedia here as i do pop a uh <laughs> i do pop a phoenix kit in the gameplay as well and you always know that you have time to uh, look up things when you're popping a Phoenix kit. It takes a little bit of time to do stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if we can find it. I just know, someone definitely knows uh, in, the, in the past as far as what ends up happening or what had happened with Mirage and how long that lasted. But at the end of the day, this ult lasts very, very long. Maybe about 15 seconds, I would say, Mirage's ult did last. So maybe four times longer. Uh, oh, sorry, excuse me, the cooldown, um, I would say it's probably, a, I would say maybe it seems like a 50% increase, so maybe you're having it half as fast most of the time, um, that is a big deal, I feel like my ultimate, and you'll just watch there, I just used it pretty, um, I actually don't think I just used it, I'm sorry, it, it, I'll, looking up the Gamepedia, but you'll see when I use that ult, how fast it comes back, and I think that is one of the biggest things that allows Mirage to have so much success now with this new kit. So we'll also talk about the passive, which I think is maybe the biggest thing. And luckily, our team is kind of fragging out right now. Uh, shout out to my teammates right here. But the passive is one of the biggest things that I think they changed with him. And let me talk about the impact here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show a clip because I did find it on Reddit. And I do know that there's a lot of people who have been kind of sharing these clips. And uh, there's great things to look up. But a Mirage can now, when he's reviving teammates, actually go invisible while he's reviving them. And not only that, it cloaks the teammate that he's reviving. So say you're in the middle of a battlefield. People are shooting all over. They know, yes, there's that guy, the blue shield I just downed. Where are his teammates? You sneak up as Mirage. You throw a decoy out. You go to revive him. All of a sudden, you both disappear. If the enemy's been searching for someone else, they'll be like, where did he go? Did he, you know, did that dude with the knockdown shield go around that rock? Like, where is he? Did he get revived? Did he have a self revive What happened? And then all of a sudden you will be back up. You can do this in the middle of a fight. And the fact that you go invisible, people have not learned how to play around this yet. There are some obvious counters like, hey, caustic can. That's one of the great ways to do it. Put a caustic can near the person that you down. So if Mirage shows up, obviously he's going to get hit with that caustic. And that is a good thing now that caustic got a little bit of a buff in season five. But there's there's really, I think, um, besides him and Bloodhound who can scan and we'll see the heat signatures of the two that are reviving as well. There's just not a lot of ways to easily counter this in the middle of a fight before that revive actually goes off, right? You could premeditate something and throw a, a defensive bombardment, uh, you know, rolling thunder from Bangalore, but at the end of the day, you're kind of like, all right, I'm worried about Mirage revive here. Let me do this just in case he does. If you're just fighting, this Mirage is going to be able to sneak in and make things happen, and that to me is one of the most powerful things as well from a team utility standpoint. They also added that you go invisible while you are reviving people from a respawn beacon, and that is huge too, because normally you're so 
vulnerable. Um, but it's not just that. I believe when you are, uh, I believe, let me just see this. Uh, it's not just the respawn beacon, I believe. It is, yes, it is. Okay, so, you know, I for some reason I thought maybe maybe they gave him that extra little something that I thought, wow, that doesn't really work with his character. Um, and he could use the Pathfinder Beacon's revive, but I'm like, no, that, 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 that can't be right. So it's just the Respawn Beacon. That's the beacon I was hearing of. So yeah, the Respawn Beacon, he can go completely invisible as well as when reviving someone. So what does this all mean? I think that's the big question here. Uh, the game has obviously gone really, really well. You guys can see the impact of how in a skirmish Mirage can take advantage of this. And this is where I think he's going to thrive. In these games where there's a skirmish and you, you can't keep track of uh, the two, three teams in third-party situations, uh, he's also going to thrive in moments where you have a chance to set up a play. You want to set somebody up. You want to draw an opponent out. Maybe they're hiding. Maybe they're ratting. Um, this is going to be the most realistic version of creating someone showing up into an area looking like they're in trouble and the big thing too that they've added is that when you used to throw that clone out for mirage he would say bamboozle right away and it wouldn't give you a clear hint at to whether somebody shot it or not until the decoy was shot but now his bamboozle line will only come up when you actually use your clone and someone else ends up shooting it so it's a clear like audio cue as well as a visual cue that somebody shot your clone and remember that decoy when they get shot it literally pings to your entire team where that person was when they shot it so it gives you a marker and a distance marker of where that individual is so it's a way of sneaking sneakily pointing people out it's it's <laughs> It's kind of like pinging them on on a, on a visual map. It's not on the 3D map, uh, or excuse me, the top-down map, but it does give your teammates a great awareness as to where those those enemies are. And this is always something I felt was super underrated with Mirage. And let me know if you guys agree. I feel like he's been a little underrated from the beginning. I added him in Season 4 onto one of my uh, higher positions in the list. A lot of people thought, you know, what are you doing, Rain Day? And now I think at this point, uh, there's a lot of credit to Mirage being a high-level uh, legend who has a lot to bring to the table and I just got to get your guys' thoughts as well are you as hype about Mirage as I am because this has so far been such a fun experience I mean I picked this guy up one two three times and first two times it was a little shaky but after the third fourth time I really started to figure out that yo this guy has some things to do and wow apparently that Pathfinder probably has a gold Spitfire right there as well so he's getting a little bit of damage have to stop the bat right there one of my big mistakes always just not committing to a decision which is always better do not do as I do do as I say it's better to commit there I wanted to go to the other side but if you're gonna risk restarting your shield bat not worth it as well our ult, Loba she ults and a big opportunity I see the ping of the peacekeeper the brand new peacekeeper which is a special weapon we're gonna grab that and uh what another purple helmet this is one of the best things for Loba and just makes your team so much better we'll have videos about her coming up soon as well more and more about how she is at high level more ranking videos as well so stay tuned for that subscribe if you guys want to stay in touch with all those that I usually do for these seasons but yeah I mean I think she does bring a lot to the table as well as Mirage so big question marks as to how much uh, they will be considered in that top tier professional meta. But if you're a casual player, you should start learning Mirage because he's got some high skill mechanics that when you get good at, you're going to be able to make your life a lot easier in Apex Legends. I mean, this character has some potential to totally be that chess master, that that final boss, that, that overlord, that dude with the glasses in the anime who's got the plan all down from the beginning and you just fell into the trap that he knew you were going to walk into. This is what Mirage can be uh, as you see a little bit of Peacekeeper action, action with a few shots, but I realized, yo, man, let's just, let's just keep it simple. Phoenix, get again. And two squads left. The team looks like we can make it happen, and hopefully we can. These guys are balling out, by the way, and it looks like uh, still the respawn. It was it was gotten off that sneaky bloodhound. We get Twitch slays FPS, and then we got to go ahead and finish off. Looking like this crypto, the havoc's still so strong right now. They say they adjusted the recoil, but the weapon feels pretty good to me. I don't know about you guys. Feels almost exactly the same uh, for me in my experience, and. I like it. I like having the Havoc. I like having weapons that are good. The Wingman is crazy right now. There are so many good weapons in this game. In Season 5, it is so much fun. I am doing a ton of work on the broadcast side, and that is why when you get these champion banners, when I have an hour or two before I go back for a show, I am so happy because I get to make some cool content for you guys and talk about all the new things with all the new legends. So hopefully this informed you. Hopefully this educated you. Hopefully this enlightened you, and hopefully this made you laugh or enjoy yourself. 
itself as far as seeing some Apex gameplay with the brand new Mirage changes. If it did, go ahead and consider leaving a like or commenting on the video to let me know. If it didn't, let me know why. And also subscribe to stay tuned for more content like this on Rain Day Gaming. Thanks so much. Never give up. Never stop gaming. I'll see you all next time.